two weeks back, we saw a huge craze behind MemGPT as it was able to infuse and teach large language models to manage their own memory for unbounded context. It is an amazing architecture and it shows the direction we are going towards by evolving LLMs even further. Just as MemGPT is able to teach LLMs to manage its own memory, there is a new project called Jarvis One. Now this is an open-ended multitask agent that has a memory augmented multimodal feature that lets the language model complete task itself with the memory it gains. This is absolutely insane as Jarvis One gives the ability to perceive multimodal inputs whether that is a visual observation or human instructions. It can generate sophisticated plans and perform embodied control. Now this is something that they were able to test within my favorite game, Minecraft, which is an open-ended universe. Just take a look at this example where Jarvis One learned how to play Minecraft. In this video, the AI was instructed to build a stone hoe, which is a tool that you need in the game, and it was able to accomplish this task within 70 seconds. We can see that it's a new kind of AI agent that is learning how to move and gain understanding of the game throughout its memory feature. It does this by utilizing a growing memory that works with different types of data, whether if it's text, images, or anything else. It's absolutely exceptional and it's something that we will uncover throughout today's video. So stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you are not a part of our private discord, you are definitely missing out. We give out paid subscriptions for AI tools for free guys. You're able to get amazing knowledge, different types of courses, research papers, as well as different networking and consulting opportunities. If you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below as it will definitely elevate your AI game. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we are covering Jarvis One, which is an open world multitask agent with memory augmented multimodal language models. Now, what this basically means is that it has the ability to see, act, as well as learn continuously with its multimodal feature. This is something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video, but in summary, it's addressing the challenges in situation where planning and task complexity, as well as leveraging its multimodal language model foundation to understand both visual and textual inputs. Now it's able to do this through its memory augmented planning, and this is for enhanced correctness consistency as well as self-improving capabilities through autonomous task generation and what this does is that it results in impressive performances across 200 tasks and these are some of the tasks that we can see over here we can see that within the game of minecraft you're able to create many things in the open world whether that's constructing different buildings constructing armor different types of equipment as well as constructing different types of tools now, it's able to complete 200 tasks as well as notable achievements in complex scenarios. And this is compared to its previous models, which is absolutely insane. This is showcasing a significant step towards autonomous and adaptive AI agents within the real world application. And it's something that we're going to take a look at more in depth as we go to explore what Jarvis One truly is, as well as taking a look at what you can actually do with it. Hey guys, I started this new thing where if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. I can be giving you my consulting in various different aspects, whether that's AI related, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Now let's take a look at these videos where they show us the example of what Jarvis One can execute through human instructions in diverse environments. Now this is basically showcasing Minecraft's different environments and it's showcasing how it's able to create that wooden pickaxe within these different environments whether that's a savanna biome, jungle biome, plain biome, and birch forest. Now what this basically means is that Jarvis One is able to ex execute this instruction through these different types of biomes as it's able to learn and gain the ability to like basically maneuver as well as source where to find the wood within these biomes. In this case, it's able to find a tree within the plains biome and you can see with its visual input or its multimodal feature by 
finding visual outputs or inputs, it's able to find the tree easily and cut it down and it's able to create that wooden hoe. Now, if you go into the next biome, which is the birch forest, it's able to source the birch wood and it sees that it's looking for the birch wood and as it finds it it goes towards it starts cutting it down and we can see the same example with the savannah biome where it sources through finding arcane or I, I forgot what the actual wood piece is but it's able to find the wood within this biome and it's able to do the exact same thing in the jungle biome as well and we can just see that it's able to execute this instruction following within these diverse biomes and this is through its memory feature where it's able to augment its memory through its multimodal language model. This is something that we're going to take a look at in the next step of the video where we explore the architecture as to how it actually functions so we get a better idea later on when we start playing around with it. Now, the architecture of Jarvis 1 involves a memory augmented multimodal language model which is responsible for generating plans as well as low level action controller. Now, to enhance its planning capabilities, what Jarvis 1 does is that it employs a multimodal memory system. And this is a system that stores and retrieves experiences. It serves as references for future planning. So, in a way, it's getting smarter as it continuously runs. Now, Jarvis 1 exhibits a self improving mechanism, and this is through exploration within the game of Minecraft. Now, it proposes a new engaging way in getting tasks autonomously to be autonomously created as well as self-instructed. Now, the self-guided exploration contributes to the growth of the memory and it aids in the more effective planning. Now, this is for tasks that have been partially or fully encountered before. And in essence, it's something that Jarvis One does so that it can self-improve over a long last time within the open world and it highlights the ability to learn adapt and refine its planning skills over time through both its in initiatives as well as its u utilization of accumulated experiences now you may be wondering why are you showing me this it's just within minecraft well the theory behind this is what makes it so amazing the fact that they're able to do something like this within this open world game it shows that they have been able to make a step forward where they're giving memory to AI, multi AI agents, which can help complete various different tasks with multimodal language models. This is something that will definitely elevate the way we utilize different language models in the future, as well as how we can have them store different memories so that they can accomplish multiple different tasks. Now we talked about Jarvis One's self-improving feature and it's something that achieves self-improvement through lifelong learning facilitated by growing multimodal memory. And this is so that it enhances its overall intelligence as well as its autonomy. The upcoming demonstration we can see in the bottom will basically showcase how Jarvis One's performance across various learning stages while completing the same task. Each learning stage is defined by one epoch and this is something that represents the completion of all tasks in a task pool by Jarvis One in this environment. And it's something that showcases the success or the failures through these different epochs. And this is something that they stated. One epoch represents that all tasks in the task pool have been executed by Jarvis One in the environments once regardless of success or failure. And we can see the prompt that was given for this is that given a Minecraft, given to Minecraft, sorry, is an iron axe. You want it to smelt it, craft a Minecraft shear with, em with an empty inventory. And we can see that with the first epoch, what it does is that it mines three logs, crafts 13 or 12 planks, sorry, crafts one crafting table, gets the sticks, and we can see it gets all the way to mining two iron ores, but it lacks on solving this issue where it's, it needs to smelt the iron ingots to create the one shear. And we can see this through the example it's 2 minutes and 40 seconds, but we're not going to watch this. It's able to retrieve the iron, but I believe it has an issue trying to get out of the <laughs> the cave that it actually dug out. And we can see that at the end, it then continuously stops at the end as it fails to get out of this hole. We can see with the second epoch that it gets through all of this, but it lacks fuel. And this is something that it's able to do eventually, but it has the ability to not find fuel for a long, efficient use. 
and this is something that they noticed as they continuously run this example. With the third epoch, it's able to execute all of these commands more accurately and efficiently as it learns through its previous examples and this is something that is amazing because of its growing multimodal memory and this is something that enhances its overall intelligence sorry, as well as its autonomy as it grows further into the game and this is something that makes a more efficient and effective method to smelting the ores as it learns from its previous experiences. Now they tested this various times with different tools, different ores, as well as different blocks. So if you're interested in all of these different types of additional results, definitely recommend you watch as well as look through the research paper. It's very interesting. I actually went through a couple of these different videos beforehand, so I got a better idea as to what you can actually do with this actual project. It gave me a lot of hope as well as a lot of passion to play Minecraft once again as this is an amazing project that opened my whole mind as it's something that's able to achieve its self-improvement through a lifelong experience as well as creating agents that have an open world multitask memory augmented multi-modal language model. This is something that gives it vision as well as textual input so that it can solve various different tasks. Now imagine if this is being outputted to the real world, it can definitely help in many different ways. So I'll leave all these links in the description below. But that basically concludes today's video. I highly recommend that you check out the research paper because there is a lot of content that you will definitely love as well as have an interesting read as you go through all the data as well as all the analysis of this project. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely check out the Patreon page if you would like to access our private Discord. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of value and a lot of videos on various different topics. So if you're interested in any of these topics, I highly recommend that you go through my channel and watch all of them. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.